Hi, I'm Phil Harper, the Children and Families Minister here at Holy Trinity Church, Stratford-upon-Avon. The members of staff who haven't been furloughed have taken on extra duties to help keep the show on the road. I've been asked to put together a proposal for how the church might reopen for private prayer. No, private prayer, prayer. We were keen to reopen our doors, but like a lot of churches, businesses and industry, we've been struggling financially. So I've had to improvise, and I'm very grateful to members of the church congregation and the community who have helped to put this together. <laughs> um, yeah, here are a few of my ideas. We unfortunately couldn't afford one of those thermal imaging thermometers. So when you enter the church, because one of the symptoms of COVID-19 is a loss of smell, you'll be asked to smell these very highly fragranced flowers. And if you can't smell anything, then I'm afraid you won't be able to enter. There is a route marked out around the church with special markers every two meters. To reduce the amount of cleaning, people are asked to only stand on the markers and not the floor in between. If you do miss a marker, then you will have to go back to the beginning and start again. Holy Trinity is known for being the final resting place of the playwright William Shakespeare. I thought it important that William does his bit, so I'm currently exploring the possibility of getting him his own face mask. This is an artist impression of what I think it may look like. Candles have always been important in churches and I wanted to give people the opportunity to light one. So our volunteers have been busy at work washing all of our candles with alcohol-based antiviral solution. Oh, um. In modern times, the roles of church wardens include taking care of our buildings, supporting the work of the parish and helping out at services. However, I'm going to get our church wardens to begin to undertake the traditional role of a church warden, that of maintaining order and keeping peace. So all of our church wardens are going to go and do a crash YouTube course to learn how to use their staffs of office in the ancient art of Bojitsu. We're very grateful for any donations that people can give. We have our contactless card points that people can use or you can donate online. However, if people can only give cash, then I've been exploring different money laundering techniques that our treasurer can use to disinfect the money. We now have these screens in our shop to protect our members of staff. If at any time while you're walking around the church, you feel like you need to sneeze, please come to one of these screens so that you can sneeze upon it. I hope that the ideas in my proposal will be of some use. I should say that I downloaded off the internet a risk assessment and I'm very pleased to say that all these ideas are very risky. Thank you. Hi. Well, I've just heard from the PCC. They gave a lot of thought to my ideas. At least five minutes. Once they'd finished laughing. And they're not going to follow any of them. Apparently they're not safe and don't follow the law. But Holy Trinity has opened for private prayer following proper safety measures. So we look forward to welcome you at a church that has been a place of prayer since the year 845 AD. I've also been asked to say that as a church, we have to raise all the money ourselves to maintain the building and support our work in the community. 
In the first six months of this year, we're running at a deficit of about £70,000. So anything you can donate to help would be really appreciated. Ah, oh, well. I suppose this gives me more time to work on my plans for opening for public worship. Mm.